Welcome to the Cyborg Vlog. This is my review and walkthrough of the Old Faithful Snow Lodge in Yellowstone National Park. Let's start as we drive up to the front entrance of the lodge. This is the front loop near the registration desk. This is where you can stop and unload your luggage. Now let's take a walk in from this side of the hotel. After you drop off your luggage, you can go in through the double doors here to the main lobby of the Old Faithful Snow Lodge. And you see there's some seating areas here and there's a fireplace that's going. And actually if you go straight through this lobby, out this back set of double doors here, that's what leads you directly to Old Faithful. And to your right here is the registration desk. This is where you check in and they also have Old Faithful geyser eruption predictions there. Now let's walk around over to the elevators just around the right of the registration desk. And if you're looking for the gift shop or the Geyser Grill, which is a quick service restaurant, it's kind of hidden back here around the corner and you have to go take a right down there and that's where it is on the map. And they also have some Old Faithful uh, branded beer there if you're interested. And they also have some vending machines, ice, sodas down here next to the elevators. Directly across from the elevators is some more seating area and also the Obsidian dining room down that hallway there. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Now we'll get a view walking back out of the lobby through the main entrance here to the front loop where you can load up all your passengers and go out for an adventure for the day. Okay, next we're going to look at the parking lot here on the west side of the lodge. Um, that parking lot is also shared um, for a post office and a ranger station, and you can also park there to go to the visitor center. As we're walking in here, this is the entrance nearest the parking lot, and we're going to go in and see the seating area I talked about where there is Wi-Fi available. Now they say there's only Wi-Fi available in the lobby, but we had it working in our hotel room. That's a view of the Obsidian Dining Room. We're going to take a quick walk in there and look at the breakfast buffet. They had some cold cereal, some um, fixings for waffles and pancakes, uh, fresh fruit, um, biscuits and gravy, uh, hash brown, sausage, bacon, scrambled eggs. It was a, a pretty standard um, breakfast buffet there and it wasn't too crowded on that morning and as we continue walking down this hallway here we'll see there's the fire hole lounge off to the right as well as some old telephone booths that no longer have payphones in them and here we are back in the main lobby that we showed you before and we'll go ahead and continue our tour and walk through past the registration desk there again and we're going to go ahead and take the elevators up to the third floor where our room was on this trip. Now if you look at the layout of the hotel here um, you see when we get off these elevators we're going to take a right and then a left down the hallway and head to our room which was 3005 which was pretty near the end of the hallway which was good because we like to take the el the stairs at the end. It was a much quicker way to get out of the hotel because it was on the end facing the Old Faithful Visitor Center. Now as you can see walking down the hallway it's it's pretty Spartan looking. It's a nice hotel but um, for the price it's a very basic kind of room you get. And the construction of this hotel was definitely concrete and steel for earthquake protection. Let's take a look inside. I want to do a quick video of our premium lodge room at the Snow Lodge here at Old Faithful. So when you first walk in, there's a place to put your suitcases and a vanity and the bathroom with shower and then we had the two queen bedroom 
there is a closet on each side with some lamps, a window that opens, which is handy, and a little coffee area and a refrigerator. So, and there's a hairdryer. So about the only amenities you have are coffee, refrigerator, hairdryer, and opening window. Now, they get plenty of heat in here, but there's no air conditioning. So if you need to uh, get some fresh air, you have to open that window. And there's also a fan in the room. But, so this is our view. We kind of had a view. This, we're on the third floor. We're overlooking the delivery area. So there's a little bit of noise in the morning, but we've been up every morning already. But all in all, it's a pretty basic room. It's, it's comfortable, it did its job. And uh, hopefully we'll be back to explore another hotel in the future. Now you might be wondering if I would recommend staying in the park. This lodging is a little bit more expensive, but the good thing is you're right at the heart of all the adventure. You're near the general stores, um, thermal features, right outside your hotel. And we had the opportunity to go out on the boardwalks almost at sunset. And we had some of the most amazing times looking at the thermal features. And we had a trail right outside the lodge where we had an encounter with a, an American bison. Uh, we decided to leave him alone, and we also had the opportunity to take our time and watch Old Faithful erupt from several different angles. This here is on the boardwalk on the backside, just opposite of all the lodges and the main viewing area where most of the crowds are, are on the other side of the geyser at this time. So we got some amazing shots. Um, and it was almost like we were the only people out there. For this trip, we also considered staying out in West Yellowstone, but that would have added about an hour to an hour and a half drive every day just to get to some of the attractions that we wanted to see. So with time being money, and this was probably the one trip um, we had planned to, to go to Yellowstone, wanted to make sure to maximize all of our days, and that way we were able to um, take a couple of tours. We um, did a chuck wagon cookout up in Roosevelt and we saw all the features that we wanted to, all the attractions, and I think that was aided by the fact that we did stay in the park. Now it was a little bit complicated to get the dates we wanted. I had to plan about a year in advance, call Zantera and stay on hold with their customer service for an hour. Um, but we got the dates we wanted. Now the lodge is a little bit pricey for the accommodations you get, but again, that's kind of what enabled us to do everything we wanted to and get the uh, all the sights in that we wanted to see in the park. So as we wrap up this video, we're getting a look at the old faithful eruption just after sunset, and I would have to say it would be my recommendation. If you're thinking about uh, staying in the park or not, I would go ahead and make the recommendation that you should stay in the park. And the Old Faithful Snow Lodge was built in 1999, so it's the most modern accommodation. So make sure you check with the website about the um, features of the hotel and the accommodation that you're going to be staying at. Now, none of the hotels have TV or air conditioning and only some of the hotels have internet so if that's an important thing for you you need to plan ahead download some Netflix onto your mobile devices if uh, your kids like to watch something on on their tablet before going to bed I recommend planning ahead and downloading some things on there before but definitely keep the tablets away during the day when you're out driving there's lots to see wildlife spotting I recommend doing the Junior Ranger program at the Visitor Center. And really, Yellowstone is a, a once-in-a-lifetime kind of trip, and it's beautiful, and I would highly recommend it to everyone. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. And if you uh, like the content, please give it a like and subscribe for future videos, because I plan on releasing a video about the Roosevelt Cowboy Cookout here in the future. 
Subscribe now. Resistance is futile.